Let up. Yes. Yes. And sorry. I, 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 I had requested. I'll pour a flight for it. Editor, sorry. And specially speaking, after two legal luminaries, it is always a difficult uh, part on my on my case because I have, uh, though I am been elected to frame law, I have not studied law, uh, nor any degree I have got from the law colleges or university. And uh, second point which I would like to mention after hearing two uh, colleagues of mine, piracy, piracy has not been there in the IPC. You yourself know sir. the Indian Penal Code is just another version of Irish Penal Code. CRPC of course was framed in 1948, then subsequently number of amendments on the greatest pirate of this world were Britishers. Why would they frame a law to apprehend pirates? And that is the basic reason, and we have woken up after such a long time that we need to have a piracy law, and Prime Minister raised it in the United Nations. So coming to this bill, I'm really astonished by my predecessor, uh, P.P. Choudhury, my friend. Perhaps he was also heading that standing committee which went through uh, this bill. And uh, now his uh, number of amendments have been accepted by the government, and still certain amendments have not been. But anyway, he must have gone through in detail, unlike uh, Manish Tiwari, who is uh, very much uh, aware about it. There are certain apprehensions and also certain suggestions which I would like to make in a very brief uh, manner. I would say Indian Penal Code provisions pertaining to armed robbery have been involved in the past to prosecute pirates apprehended by the Navy and the Coast Guard. But in the absence of a specific law on the offense of maritime piracy in India, problem were being faced to ensure effective prosecutions of pirates. This is the basic reason for which this law, this uh, law has been framed. I would say under this bill, if a person while committing an act of piracy causes or attempts to cause death, he will be punished with death or imprisonment. That amendment has come. Supreme Court has in Dalbir Singh versus State of Punjab and Mithu versus State of Punjab in 1983, this was in 2006, earlier one, ruled that mandatory death penalty for an offense violates Article 14 and 21 of the Constitution. The court has held that a provision that imposes a mandatory death penalty is arbitrary and unfair. The Supreme Court has in Vachan Singh versus State of Punjab also narrowed the application of death penalty to the rarest of rare. He is having only three minutes, but however, just warning. <laughs> sort of love for you. <laughs> Sir, this uh, bill defines piracy, and here certain actions may fall on different offenses and have, have different Penal, different penal, differing penalties. And there are three or four in, in that line. And I would just mention it briefly. Any illegal act of violence, detention, or destructions committed against a ship, aircraft, person, or property, inciting or intentionally facilitating such illegal acts, or voluntarily participating in the operation of a pirate ship, any person who commits an act of piracy will be punished with imprisonment for life, death penalty, if the act of piracy causes or attempts to cause death. However, another clause in the bill provides for imprisonment of up to 14 years, along with a fine, if a person aids, assists, participates, organizes, or directs another person to participate in an act of piracy. Offenses in both the clauses seem to be similar. It is unclear 
which penalties will apply under which circumstances. For instance, person A directs person B to damage a ship on the high seas. There could be two ways in which person A is charged. Committing an act of piracy by inciting such act and thus be charged with life imprisonment or death or directing another person to participate in an act of piracy and punished with imprisonment of up to 14 years along with a fine. Sir, the next point which I would like to mention is the geographical applicability of the bill. And the minister very rightly mentioned about exclusive economic zone. But India has limited rights in the economic ex uh, ex uh, exclusive economic zone, such as the rights to explore, exploit, and manage natural resources. Currently, certain acts of piracy such as acts of violence against ship and seizure of a ship occurring in the EEZ are covered under the suppression of unlawful acts against safety of maritime navigation and fixed platforms on Continental Shelf Act, that is SUA Act 2002. However, the SU Act 2002 does not cover all acts of piracy as defined under UNCOS. For example, an act of theft that does not endanger the safety of a ship in the EEZ will not be covered under the SUA Act 2002, but this would qualify as an act of piracy under UNCLOS and this bill. Sir, I would not go into the other uh, aspects, but on international law, on close, the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea is the first comprehensive enforceable international environmental law covering all forms of marine pollution, land-based, atmospheric, ship-borne, and originating from activities on the seabed. On close of 1982 entered into force on November 16, 1994. Although many nations have signed and notified on close, their number has not been sufficient to bring it into force. Despite the fact that UNCLOS runs 320 articles and nine annexes, there are still important issues that require further work. For example, controversies exist over overlapping jurisdiction of territorial waters, that is 12 nautical miles, and exclusive economic zone, that is 200 nautical miles. Therefore, my suggestion is, the government must review the provision of death penalty for pirates, for pirates involved in killing or attempt to murder cases in the proposed piracy bill, as the extradition of the accused may be difficult, which my friend Manish just now mentioned. The law must provide for legal immunity for acts done in good faith. My previous uh, speaker just now mentioned, if arms is seized, but arms for what? Ship may be carrying arms for their own safety. So that security personnel, duly authorized by the government to deal with the problem, get protection. International cooperation on the issue of maritime piracy at various international platforms should also be bought. All necessary steps should be taken by the concerned ministerial authorities. Sir, the bill of course, is a landmark move to combat the issue of piracy at sea. However, the proposed law must be reviewed based on international laws. The provision of death penalty, as I have stated earlier, and I had moved an amendment last term, last uh, session, and, uh, but I would say must be reconsidered to ensure better acceptance of, by, of the proposed law. With these words, I conclude, sir. Thank you very much, Chairperson, sir, for 